Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video about farming profitability and ROI using my total cost of ownership model. I wrote a model for SNEA that I have actually ported to Chia to use in farming that has a breakdown of costs of actual capital expenditures, which is the amount of money you need to buy the equipment, and then operational expenditures, which is the amount of money you need to operate the farm, like power and dry failures and whatnot. Um, and I had this very complicated spreadsheet and I recorded this hour video and, um, you know, I thought it was too technical to post up on, on YouTube, but what I did do is send it to a couple folks. And one of the people I sent it to was the guys at Chia Calculator and they have come up with something really cool. They basically ported my spreadsheet and TCO model into a web-based total cost of ownership calculator. So this is freaking awesome. It is so powerful. I'm going to walk you guys through um, kind of just some examples that I put in there. They basically had a couple of examples that are going to be the presets that I just had in the spreadsheet. One of the things I was trying to accomplish in the spreadsheet was to show, um, you know, that using older drives and smaller drives can be very cost effective for the CapEx, but, you know, smaller drives consume more power and they take more money. If you're going to run them for five years, it takes a lot more energy and electricity costs over that time. So this is a very nice way to show that and break down the cost. The good thing uh, as well is you can, um, you know, if you know your costs and you know your profitability, you can easily forecast what the return on investment will be. So thankfully, uh, the good folks at Chia Calculator, Joel and company have just basically included all that here in the model. Um, so the, mo the way this works is you basically decide your deployment term, which is one year, three years, or five years. Um, I think it's good to look at uh, Chia over a longer term horizon. Now, you, the problem with looking at over one, three, and five years is for five years, it's very easy to understand how much the storage will cost you. It's much harder to forecast what the Chia price will be and the net space will be in the future. But at least for the total cost of ownership, it's very easy to know how much it will cost you for one, three, or five years. Um, the X, uh, XCA strategy or Chia selling strategy, you can decide either to hold until the end of deployment or sell continuously, which is basically just tells you what your return on investment is. Now, farming in the US, basically you, your cost basis uh, for the coins are gonna be what the dollar amount that they were farmed on at the day, the day you farmed them, what the dollar amount was, that, that's your cost basis. So uh, I, I decided to put the uh, sell continuously in there. Um, and then the hard drive, so this is, this is really interesting. So this is exciting. So the default is just kind of have a big deployment, but you can start as, as low as, you know, one system. So we'll just say, We'll put in eight hard drives, uh, 18 terabytes each, 0.44% annual failure rate. This is the same as 2 million hours mean time between failure. Uh, mean time between failure and, and AFR are the same metric. They're just explored in different ways. AFR means annual failure, failure rate, which is just the percent chance every year that a device will fail. Um, MTBF is just mean time between failure. That means over, if it's 2 million hours, it means over 2 million drive hours, uh, which means if you have multiple drives running, you multiply the number of drives times the number of hours, and then every 2 million drive hours or so, you expect one failure. The active power and idle power, you can just get this from the spec sheet. In Chia, the power is gonna be very, very close to the idle power because that's what the majority of the time the drive spends in idle. Um, be careful if you get like a, you know, a NAS drive or something, it's gonna tell you that this idle power is 3.6 watts or three watts um, because the active, uh, what they call idle B, was where the hard drive actually parks the heads, um, is a little bit, couple watts lower than the actual idle state where the uh, motor is rotating um, and the heads are active and the actuator is active. Um, in Chia, with a high K value, um, like K, K equals 32 is the standard one, um, the drive will be accessed very frequently. So basically, you're always in this idle power. So this one's very important to get right. Um, and basically just put whatever's in the, the spreadsheet. Um, and then, uh, wait, I think I had 5.6 there. Okay, so cost, uh, 400 bucks. I just put 400 bucks for a 18 terabyte drive. You can put whatever you want in there. Right now they're going between, you can, you can find them at 450 bucks, something like that. Replacement cost, now for new drives, and it says here in the tool tip, um, you know, new drives are covered under warranty. So there's no reason that you need to, um, you know, include the cost of the drive for replacement, but you do have to, you know, when the drive failure fails, you have to go to the data center or go to your server, you have to turn it off, you have to, or if you have hot plug, you can pull the drive out. After you do it, locate and find the drive, you have to send it back and RMA it to the, um, 
know, manufacturer. That's a pain in the ass. So there is some sort of cost to that. Uh, and the really exciting thing that he's put in here is the hardware resale, because this is an important part in Chia. After five years, I think you can easily resell an 18 terabyte drive for half of its initial value, probably more, but we'll just say conservative and put that. Now, the plotting speed, we'll just say if we have this eight drive deployment of 144 terabytes, we'll just say we have like one high-end system desktop plotting 10 terabytes a day. Plotting power use, you know, I have um, done a lot of analysis here in the spreadsheet for Mad Max, and the most efficient systems are about at 0.5 kilowatt hours uh, per terabyte plotted. Less efficient systems are like 1.5 to 2. So, you know, we put one in here just kind of as the default, but you can you can you can actually measure this if you want. And then the initial space of plots, if you wanted to look at the ROI here below. Uh, and then the hardware cost, this is everything else that is not, um, uh, basically everything else that's not the storage. So if you were to store eight drives, you could probably do that in a small enclosure or a small desktop. And so we'll just put, for the sake of brevity, $200 and you know 50 watts. Uh, maybe that's some fans and a power supply. That's probably uh, a little high. Oh, so careful here. I, there's watts and kilowatts. Uh, if I want to put 50 watts, I make sure I got to have it in watts. Uh, and power cost. I'm in California, so 15 cents a kilowatt hour is not too terrible. So from here, you can basically calculate the entire total cost of ownership. So this tells me my total cost was $4,000 uh, and 450, <laughs> $4,450, uh, dollars, so 4.45K. And it's $30.87 per terabyte. And this is the most important metric because you really need to normalize it. In Chia, you know, the earnings are proportional to your capacity. So dollar per terabyte and earnings per terabyte is really the metric you want to look at. And then if you wanted to, the total per terabyte per month of deployment, you know, that will change if you go from three years or one year, you know, the, the price per month will obviously go, go up quite a bit. And so in your operational expenditures or your energy costs will go down because obviously you're only looking at one year of electricity cost versus the cost of the storage. So if you look at five years, even on a five year total cost of ownership, the OPEX is $645 to run those eight hard drives for five years versus the $3,000 and you know, $3,800 that you need to buy the hard drives. So that's a lot lower. You know, so the majority of the cost in Chia is actually the cost of the devices themselves. And then so you can very easily see with this model, you, you want to get the goal is to get the hardware cost down as low as possible, you know, and the power cost down as low as possible. Now, if you use lower capacity drives that are less efficient, obviously this percentage of your total cost will be much, much higher. Um, and we'll look at that here in a second. We'll look at, uh, you know, example with use drives. And then the hardware acquisition cost, we call this CapEx or capital expenditures, is basically just how much you're paying for the source. You, with the storage cost and all the other costs that are not storage. So any that's cables, JBODs, the servers. In this case, um, you know, if you were, if you have a plotting system and it takes a certain amount of power to plot, you know, you're not gonna have that plotting system on for the full five years. You're just gonna have it on until the drives are full. So a better way to look at the plotting is the actual power by energy use, which is here, plotting power use. So uh, this is a very, very elegant way to do it. Um, I really like, uh, the way he's displayed this and um, yeah, super awesome. So the operational costs uh, I mentioned, in this case, we have eight drives and we're running for five years. It's actually gonna forecast zero failures. So the probability is that we'll actually have zero failures. Now, if I put this to you know 100 for five years, now it shows that we're gonna have an estimated two drive replacements over that five year period. So it's very easy to scale this up and down. Now, if I were to use 100 drives, now I'd have to also scale you know, the cost of the hardware to host those 100 drives, um, you know, which you need now a big JBOD, which is not $200, it's, you know, maybe $2,000 and, you know, maybe 200 watts. But you can see this very easily scales and your total dollar per terabyte doesn't actually change that much because the majority of cost in, in Chia farming is the cost of the drives themselves. So your dollar per terabyte is not going to change very much, but your total cost is obviously going to go up quite a bit when you have higher, higher number of drives. And the operational cost, so you have your storage power and then your power for all the stuff to support the, the, the hard drive. So obviously for Chia, you need a farming node. So you need some sort of CPU node that does the farming and then you need some, some way to hold the drives. And then you have the plotting power use and then you fill drive replotting power use. So you have to replot when you have a drive failure. 
and you have to you put in whatever replacement cost you feel is fair for you know when what happens when you have a device failure. So this is it. This is so awesome. Now the really cool part is he's actually included the ROI and return on investment here in the bottom, which is based on the old Chia calculator, but with some new cool tricks. And so if we take the uh, network size, which is 34.9 EIB or 40 exabytes today, and we can basically just put in, um, you know, kind of what we think for the future. So I'll just say like, you know, 100 petabytes of growth. If we're going to look at it over five years, you know, um, you know, that may be realistic. You know, who knows what, what who knows what the net space is going to be in five years, but you can just put in any number you want. And then you can basically put whatever you want for the yearly price growth for Chia. So today the price is $256. And if I say that the price of Chia in the future is going to be here in five years, um, the exchange rate is $2,000 or $1,930 per uh, XCH. You know, this is just something reasonable. Now, who knows what the price is going to be, obviously. Uh, but this is where it gets fun and you can kind of model some different scenarios. Uh, and in this scenario, uh, basically I'm going to have earned 176.9 Chia after five years of farming. And um, that would be estimated 104,000 US dollars. And I would have $75,000 of profit uh, because I can resell that hardware. I'm saying, okay, my hardware is worth 50% of what I purchased the hardware for, which I remember was $52,380 in this case. And so you basically take the money you earn from Chia plus the value of your equipment after whatever time you've done farming, and then you look at the return of, on investment. Now, if you want to basically take that away, you can basically turn off sell hardware after five years and just look at just the profit without having to um, you know, look at uh, you know, the hardware cost. And so this is awesome. 14.8% annual return over five years. ROI after five years is... 100%. Um, so this is where we're at today. Uh, this is very, very powerful tool. Um, I'm very excited that we're going to now have a, a web app uh, for the total cost of ownership calculation. And I know I had a, I spend a lot of time in Excel, but I know that a very confusing spreadsheet is probably too much for a lot of people to dig into, but this will be fun for a lot of people to play around with and figure out their costs and farming profitability. So um, Again, thank you guys to Joel at Chia Calculator. This is amazing and uh, very excited for the release of this. Bye-bye.